Good afternoon from Lumos TV Studio at L News. Good to be with you. I'm Dila Prila Jayuna. Indonesia is in the fifth position with 36 gold medals in SEA Games 2021. Until Thursday morning, the 19th of May 2022, Indonesia's position in the SEA Games 2021 Vietnam is in the fifth position. Indonesia collects 36 gold, 50 silver and 47 bronze medals. The archery brands wiped out all the contested numbers and became the biggest contributor to gold medal, which is four pieces. The next gold came from the rowing sport of canoeing, which managed to win medal from the 1000 meters canoeing for four men. Next, gold came from shooting sports and taekwondo with one gold medal each. Then, the karate sport managed to collect two gold medals which made Indonesia reach fifth position at this time. On the other hand, the first position is still occupied by Vietnam with 125 gold, 74 silvers and 72 bronze. Followed by Thailand with 52 gold, 58 silvers and 82 bronze. Philippines is in the third position with 37 gold, 49 silver, and 63 bronze. And Singapore is the fourth with 37 gold, 39 silver, and 49 bronze. Garbage dumps full people protest. The community in Trajaya village confesses a protest regarding integrated waste management. This action is a manifestation of public concern due to the accumulation of garbage in the dump located in the 6th hamlet. The community thinks that the local village governments and related institutions do not provide any efforts in managing waste. In fact, all garbage that is thrown into the dump is destroyed only by burning, which is causing air pollution. One resident, Panduijaya, says that the community wants real efforts from the government, such as socialization or a waste bank. How is the waste management here? Is it really that worrisome? I think pretty worrying because the trash management is only collected by trash collectors and then burned. Uh, why do people ask for an integrated waste management system? Because the trash uh, calculation has increased. How did the village government and related agencies respond after this issue arose? There is no response and it is so disappointing. And what are your hopes for the future? I hope the government will listen to the aspirations of people and the first management will be better. Meanwhile, the head of the Majalengka Environment Agency, Hajah Nadisa Hanaharitin, says that a waste bank is still a long process due to the complicated budget for transportation. KKN di Desa Penari becomes a popular horror movie in Indonesia. Simple Man is the order of KKN di Desa Penari. He wrote the story was from her mother's friend experience in conducting the KKN or community service somewhere in Indonesia which is deliberately kept secret. Then he shared it through Twitter in 2019. Unexpectedly, the story became popular even there are book and movie version. After it became viral and trending topic in Twitter, this horror story finally adapted into a movie by Multi Dementia Entertainment, and the movie was about to be shown in 2020. Unfortunately, it is for to be postponed because of coronavirus pandemic. Finally, the movie officially has shown in cinemas two years later in the 30th of April 2022. It was a month ago that has shown in cinemas, the Kaka Endi Desa Penari movie has reached 6 million and 200 viewers which beat the latest top Indonesian horror movie Pengabdi Setan who has 4 million and 200 viewers. Further, KKN di Desa Penari will be shown in Malaysia and Singapore. Eventually, KKN di Desa Penari became a popular and bestseller horror movie in Indonesia.
Now one of our reporters has been in one of the theaters to report on the enthusiasm of the audience. Alvi, please. Alright, Dila. Good afternoon, all news viewers. I'm Alvi Akmal Yasafitri. Currently, I'm at the cinema in Cirebon, where the movie Kakai Diri Sapanari was shown. Here with me, there is an audience who would like to share his experience in watching this movie. Let's do an interview with him. Good afternoon, what is your name? My name is David Alan. Who did you watch this movie with? Uh, with my friends. Ah, you seem so enthusiastic in watching this movie. Why is that? Because this movie is just a true story. Oh, so then, uh, after you watch this movie, what do you think about it? Is it beyond your expectation? I think this movie was not scary. And I expect this movie will be scary. Ah, so you think that this movie is not really scary. Then, uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much you would rate this movie? I will rate this movie is 7. Why? Why? Because this story, because the movie is um, very interesting uh, and it's based on the story. It also viral in Twitter in 2019. But uh, when I watched this movie, uh, it turned out that uh, the story is was not scary. Ah, so the last question. Uh, what is your hope for the future of Indonesian cinema? I hope um, for Indonesian cinema, the next movies will be famous and well known to the abroad. Uh, thank you, David, for sharing your uh, experience. All right, uh, that's all this interview. Back to the line, the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alfie. That is the L News for this Thursday. Thanks for watching. I'm Dila Prilajayuna and the whole crew. Bye for now. Have a great day.